Hello, I'm Tam Motu. I'm Kelly Barrett. And we are from Dr. Dr. Zhivago. Zhivago. The musical. And we're at Broadway.com. Hello. To answer your questions about being stars or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a star, I think it's called. Cool. Yeah. Ask a star. And this is mine. That's yours. Okay. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to do a British accent today. Oh, you can do so, British. Yeah, because everybody likes British people. Okay. From Alice. From Alice. Congrats on making your Broadway debut. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> now that you're in New York, what are some of your favorite things you've gotten to do, and what are some things that you still want to do? Oh, good question. Uh, some of the favorite things I, I like to do, I love to go to Central Park. I'm a big runner. I like to run around there a lot. Um, in his underwear. In my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see a naked guy running around Central Park, that's... Screaming. Screaming. Uh, that's probably me. Um, <laughs> Uh, what else? What, do, what else do I love to do? What do I love to do? I love to go. Diners. You love diners. I love my. I love diners. I'm a bit obsessed with diners. <laughs> I've done quite a few on night now. Um, uh, am I allowed to say Renaissance? Renaissance is doing pretty well actually. It's pretty high up there. Uh, uh, and what I would like. What would I like to do? I would like to go to. Staten Island, I'd like to go and see the I've not been to, uh, to the Statue of Liberty properly yet. I've been around the Circle Line, but I would like to do that at some point. Oh. This one's from Jeffrey. <laughs> If you could star opposite your husband, Jared Spector, in any show, Aww. which would you pick? Oh, goodness. Um, we just, I, I, we have been saying this for a long time, but it just happened, but we really want to do Parade together. That's one of my absolute favorite shows. I think he would be a beautiful Leo, and of course I would be more than honored to play Lucille, so that would definitely be one. Not fame? Not fame in music? <laughs> Not fame. No? No, no um, <laughs> maybe Cat. Cats. <laughs> you might have a chance that that might come back. <laughs> um, okay, this one's from Krista. How does it feel to finally be making a Broadway debut? What's the biggest difference between the West End and Broadway? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Thank you, Krista. Um, it feels truly amazing to be here. I've been welcomed with open arms. Everyone's been really, really lovely. Um, I'm really like to get to work with you know people like Kelly and and you know some of my cast, well, mainly Kelly. <laughs> Go on. Just Kelly. Uh, <laughs> no, it's been wonderful. I'm having a great time. Everyone's been really welcoming and, and the, the community's really friendly and, and I just love the buzz of this city. It's got something that you can't really explain until you're here. You just have to walk through Times Square and sort of experience it, breathe it in and you, you can feel it. Right, this one is from Kendall. Thanks for the question, Kendall. Kendall Jenner? Are these the hottest costumes you've ever had to wear? How do you keep from sweating under okay. the stage lights? Literally hot. You were thinking hot, hot. You were going down the sexy route, weren't you? Oh, well, that nightgown is... Yeah, yeah it is pretty raunchy, that blue, <laughs> that blue little number you rock out. Um, oh, uh, yes, those are definitely the hottest costumes I've ever worn. Um, what's amazing about Paul Taswell, our costume designer, is that there's no like tricks to the costumes. It's not like what you see is you know the best part, and then underneath it's you know not lined or anything. Everything's fully lined, sometimes in mink or it's like wool, hot and then hotter, and then, hot. and then hotter still. And then you put like a hot shawl over <laughs> hot so fur cute. with a hot hat, and then you get under hot lights. And then you put um. your muff on, don't you? <laughs> And then you're, so your arms are warm as well. This is a, this is the um, universal symbol for muff. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what that means, it means muff. Just so you're all clear. Muff. Hope, you, hope you've all got that. Um, yeah, so it's quite warm. From <laughs> Dina, I believe it's Dina, D-I-N-A. Okay. How much about oh, how much about Russian culture do you know? And have you ever tried borscht? Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> um, okay, no, I have I'm a joking. question. No, no, how I'm did joking, you get this dimple? <laughs> Do that. Okay, I'm sorry. How did you get your dimple? I made it. No, I don't. I don't know. I got. I, my dad had one apparently, but um, as I grew up, I never noticed it because um, a bit of a weird story. He um, he got ridiculed when he was at school, so he. Oh, I know this story. Yeah, he took a, a fag end and burnt it out. That's a cigarette. A cigarette. Just to uh, clarify, nobody knows. English, please. Um, and he, yeah, he sort of burnt out his his dimple, but um. Uh, I'm usually quite heavily sort of stubbled or bearded, so for me to be kind of cleanish, you, you kind of notice it a bit more, I guess. A little. Yeah. Well, I remember one time this, this kid came up to me and, um, um, and asked me, did you, did you make that? <laughs> and, yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's a wife for Yuri. <laughs> it's a wife for Yuri, yeah. I kind of, you can see that. My big ass chin. 
something else, man. Yeah. All right. That's kind of cool. I like it. Have you ever tried borscht? That was the other part of that. Borscht? I don't even know what that is. It's like, isn't it a beet dish? I'd like to try it. From Joey. If you had a rock band, what would it be called and what kind of music would you play? Uh, Red Face and the Nest Bun. And uh, I'd probably play like classic rock. And Red Face and the Nest Bun. <laughs> so who? Red Face and the who? <laughs> Red Face and the Nest Bun. Because that's what I look like in the morning. Um, my face is a little red and I have a... And a Nest Bun? I have a crazy looking hair. Okay. So Laura. Laura. How would you describe a dinner party with the Phantom, Javert, and Javago, and what would be on the menu? That's that, a great question. That would be messed up, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I think there'd be some egos around that table. Yeah, you do play ego, ego menu. No. You? you can't be serving burger and fries for these guys. I'm sorry, but you can't. <laughs> pizza all around, no. That doesn't seem to like, I guess it's going to be extravagant stuff. Kind of um, the coq au vins and you know, coq au vins. and I don't know, like maybe a, a wine, a, a decent wine. There you go. Yeah, I think they'd be drinking some serious Bordeaux or, or a, wine. yeah, or a, a Barolo or something quite heavy, dense to get them all quite cerebral, and then they just start. Well, I don't know what they'd do. That'd be an interesting discussion. It really would. Maybe they start making out. Really. Maybe. Right, this is from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. What is the weirdest thing in your dressing room? It's not weird though. I don't know if I have anything weird. There, I mean, I have a million like gadgets. We have air purifiers and humidifiers and all that stuff's quite strange when it, when you come in and you see like bed bath just and beyond in your dressing steam room steam coming directly <laughs> in my face yeah yeah i have all of tj max and home goods in my dressing room you do. um i have a beautiful chaise that's not weird but i love it um, it's like a boudoir isn't it your room yeah it's like lamp i have a chan a little chandelier I, i'm not joking when i say <laughs> there's like that many like picture frames they're like yeah i do, I do. it is weird how many pictures i have in my dressing room especially of my wedding day that's weird. I have my wedding album in my dressing room. That's weird. Yeah, okay. I just got married though, and I love him. Aww. Yeah. You love him too. He's lovely. Yeah. He's very special. Yeah. Very special, special, awesome, not special, special. Not, no, 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 special, 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 special lovely, special. Awesome. special. <clears throat> no, he's sweet. Well done. Did we do? We rocked it. We're done. Thank we you so it. much. Thank you so much, and come see Dr. Zhivago. See you soon.